10 Types of Psychological Power Expert power, this form of power arises from one's skills or knowledge. It's often seen in specialists or subject matter experts. For example, a renowned scientist in a specific field possesses expert power. The effectiveness of this power depends on credibility and the relevance of the knowledge in a given context. It's particularly potent in settings where expertise is rare or highly valued. Referent power, this type of power emanates from the personal appeal and charisma of the individual. It is often associated with leaders who inspire loyalty and admiration not because of their formal position, but due to their personality, like a beloved teacher or a charismatic leader. This power is rooted in respect and affection and can be very influential, especially in motivating and leading groups. Legitimate power, stemming from an official position or title, legitimate power is tied to organizational or societal structures, like a CEO or a government official. This power is based on societal rules and norms which dictate that people in certain positions have authority over others. While effective, its influence can be limited if the leader lacks other forms of power, such as expert or referent power. Reward power. Linked to the capacity to hand out rewards, this power is commonly used in workplace settings. For instance, a manager has reward power by offering incentives like bonuses, promotions, or recognition. The effectiveness of reward power can depend on the desirability of the rewards and the fairness in how they are distributed. Coercive power. The flip side of reward power, coercive power is about the ability to punish or enforce negative consequences. It's a power often used by law enforcement or in a strict corporate hierarchy. While it can be effective in ensuring compliance, over-reliance on coercive power can lead to a hostile environment and can diminish morale and trust. Informational power. This power comes from possessing knowledge that others do not have or controlling access to information. In the modern digital age, informational power can be incredibly potent. It's often seen in gatekeepers of information like media outlets, librarians, or IT professionals. Connection power. This type of power comes from who you know rather than what you know. It's the power of networking. A person may have influence because they have a robust network of influential contacts. This power is especially prevalent in political or business environments where alliances and connections can determine success. Personal power. This is an internal form of power, stemming from an individual's character, competence, and self-confidence. It's often seen in individuals who are self-assured and have strong personal values and integrity. Personal power is unique because it is entirely independent of external factors and is entirely based on self-development and personal growth. Persuasive power, the ability to influence others through argumentation and communication. It is not just about being eloquent, it's about understanding others' needs and perspectives and framing arguments accordingly. Persuasive power is essential in roles like sales, politics, or any position requiring negotiation. Cultural power. This power is about influencing or controlling cultural norms, values, and beliefs. It's often held by institutions like the media, educational organizations, or religious groups. Cultural power shapes societal norms and can be a subtle but profound form of influence. Understanding these various forms of power is crucial not just for leaders, but for anyone who interacts within social structures. Recognizing the types of power one possesses or is subjected to can lead to more effective communication, leadership, and social dynamics. It's important to remember that these power types often overlap and can be used simultaneously in different combinations.